be dirt. You know, dirt from the ground. So many times I've been told that God sees us as precious gems, but I want to be dirt. The world always wants us to be a gem or something shiny, something that will be noticed, or someone. But what's the problem on being dirt? Why is there an issue? I want to be dirt so that I can stay humble, knowing that my ego won't stack up like a bunch of Legos and I want to be dirt. Truly, the radicals who are unnoticed become noticed and the noticed die. A gem will be found in the dirt, cleaned up and shined, but sooner or later, the shine wears out. I want to be dirt for this reason. One man set me free, and he was treated like dirt. And he still loved me, so I want to be dirt. You see, the dirt I speak of is humility. A precious gem is much humiliation in the nation, with countless six sad stories of who they think he is. Dirt will bear fruit when seed is added, then will grow when the water is placed. And this cycle will go on and never be gone. I want to be dirt. We see his followers say what they got to say, but sometimes they got it so wrong. Living in their own clouds, shutting everything that's around, and they will not escape the judge. I want to be dirt, for it brings more love and is so rich in moisture, and the grain is so fine. It will outlast the gem. I want to be dirt. For he said, I am to love God first over everything, and love your neighbor as you love yourself second. I want to be dirt so that I can finally sprout into an old oak tree and speak words of wisdom and spread my roots to a brand new land. I want to be dirt. Thank you.